here are some great shots of um, tornadoes. And according to uh, Mr. or uh, Dr. Bugina, um, almost all tornadoes have multiple multiple vortexes, um, but you just can't see them because. They're small around around the vortex of the big um, tornado, and they go around and around the big tornado. But there's almost all tornadoes have a multiple multiple vortex around the bottom that go around and around the main tornado. The reason I say that is because um, Mr. V uh, Dr. Vadina said. He was trying to figure out um, what causes more damage than what should be. And that's because of the multi, multiple uh, vortexes around the base of all tornadoes. And he was also trying to figure out why some tornadoes go miles and miles and miles where other tornadoes just go short distances, and it, it depends on the updraft. And he found that out, um, or the downdraft. Um, it depends on the downdraft. And he found that out by by uh, having to invest investigate a plane crash that looked like it <clears throat> there wasn't any tornado, and. Uh, because of there wasn't any debris in it, so you can't see you can't see air. The tornado to be able to see a tornado, it has to have something in it. So it's very possible to have an invisible tornado, and it'll kill you just the same. It's just it's just that it has to have debris in it, whether it be a cloud, whether it be a cloud like that, or dirt like that. Um, like that, or debris. It has to have debris in it for you to see it, because you can't see air. And uh, Mr. Fujina was, or Dr. Fujina, uh, was investig investigating a, a plane crash that it was a mystery to everybody, and he found out that there was a. Um, Huge downdraft um, that downed the the plane and killed I don't know 115 people or something like that. And they were wondering why other airplanes could land and didn't have any problem. And other other uh, airplanes had a little problem, but not that much. But that airplane was crushed to the ground by the down by the uh, downdraft. It was crushed to the, to the ground. So of course everybody died, and that's what Dr. Fujina find out, found out, and that was his last uh, link to the puzzle he needed, it is about the downdrafts and what fuels that tornado, and why some tornadoes travel many miles where other tornadoes just travel short distances. That's it, the downdraft that feeds that tornado. See, multiple, multiple that's a multi, uh, multiple vortex. So you can see it because um, it has debris in it. Now if that didn't have de that side one right over there, if that didn't have debris, you wouldn't be able to see it. And there's probably uh, a couple other ones going around that. Not just that one. That's why you never want to be close to any tornado. It's because you cannot see air spinning and that air will kill you. This is just as if uh, uh, like that tornado right there. This is a just because it's black don't mean it's any more dangerous um, than a clear one. A clear one will kill you just as well as that, except that has more debris in it. One you can't see will kill you. And that's a fact. Uh, uh, Dr. Fujina proved it by that plane being down. 
So it's a fact. It's not some guess. It's a fact that something you can't see, like a tornado, uh, with no debris in it, will kill you and many others, like that plane being down and 15 um, or uh, 115 people died.